Okay, exact differential equations. Okay, you will have a, an equation that takes the form, you, you know, you usually have two functions of x and y, um, you know, and, you know, the differentials, okay, they're equal to zero, yada, yada. Um, this is based off the differential of a function, okay, the differential of a multivariable function, okay, and so if we take a look at this, we can kind of compare, uh, you know, p of x, y, you know, it's implied that it's a partial derivative with respect to x. And q of x, y, you know, that this statement implies that q of x, y is a partial uh, of y. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the reason why this is maybe later. I think it's important to just get the hang of problem solving. Um, and then it will make this other stuff much easier to digest. Okay. Um, now, that alone doesn't that's just the form. The way you tell if it's exact is if the partial of P with respect to Y and the partial of Q with respect to X, if those are equal to each other, then it's exact. Okay? Um, and, and this is based off like second mixed partial derivatives and things like that. And like I said, you know, we'll go over this maybe later. Let's just learn how to solve them first. Um, just remember and actually, you might just want to write this down. As a matter of fact, I recommend that you just write this down and keep it on a piece of paper while you solve these problems. And then, then it'll, it'll get in your head, and then you'll, you know, be there. Um, oh, and, and of course, as always, you know, with differential equations, we're, we're function hunting. So f of x of y, or f of x and y is equal to integral of p of x, kind of. Okay, we, we have to do some work to this after we uh, take this integral, okay? So let's just do an example, okay? And like I said, you know, I hope you have this written down, pause the video, whatever, whatever you got to do, okay? So let's see here. Okay, so let's, um, what, what, what do we got to do first? Let's just make sure they're exact, right? So I'm not going to, I don't want to clog up my paper, but, well, first of all, I've got a differential x right there, so this would be my p of x, you know, if I, com if I compare functions. And this would be my q of x, y, if I were to compare functions. And at the same time, you know, this whole thing right here, based on the differential form, this is, you know, partial of f with respect to y. And this part right here, well, that's partial of f over x, okay? So, if, uh, so what I want to do is I want to take the partial, just make sure that they're uh, exact. So, what's partial p with respect to y, not x? Remember, it's just the opposite of what's up here. So, what is that? Um, well, partial with respect to y, that just goes to zero, the 3x squared. Uh, and then the y, that's each equal to 1. And let's see here. Partial of q over x, that is, well, actually I'm going to distribute the negative inside of here, but even if I do, you know, this is a y, you know, against x, it's just a 0, it does not change. And then what am I left with when I, when I, when I do my uh, distribution? I'm just left with a positive x, right? which is just equal to 1 as well. Okay, so yeah, they're exact. Okay, they better be. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, um, so, so we check this off the list. Now let's just find x, f of x, y. So f of x, y, and in the case of this equation, is equal to this integral. Oops, with respect to x. Okay, so let's just um, let's go ahead and calculate that. So just using the power rule, um, you know, this is the exponent goes to three, then I divide by three, so that's really just going to leave me with x cubed. Y, well, y is just a constant when I integrate over x, so I just tack on a x plus c. Now here's the, here's the trick, okay? Here's the trick. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna leave C as it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrite C as a function of y, okay? And, and we'll see why exactly really quick, okay? 
All right, so notice how, notice up here, remember my, this, this Q of X section, you know, has the Y differential against it? Well, that's actually a partial derivative with respect to Y, right? Let me just go ahead and write that down over here, just so we can see it. So, you know, according to differential form, what is it? Negative 3Y squared. Remember, I'm just distributing the negative sign, and that's plus X. Okay, I mean, that's already stated. Okay, so we got that. So what if I take, here's my function right here. So what if I just take the, you know, I wanna, I need to find out what H of Y is. So I am going to just do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna differentiate this thing over Y. And over Y, X is, you know, it's nothing. Um, you know, and, and X is just a constant here. So that just turns into X. And h prime of y, what, or h of y just turns into h prime of y, sorry. So now we take a look at this, and it looks like okay, see, see how I got there? Okay, so it looks like everything is starting to shape up. So h prime of y. Well, if I want to, well, if h prime of y is equal, well, basically, yeah, you know, h prime of y is equal to negative 3y squared, okay? So, h of y, then, would have to be equal to the integral of this, okay? Which is just negative 3y over 3, which simplifies just to negative y cubed. So, um, I'm running out of paper, damn it. Well, I mean, you can make sense of this, you know, so basically, ah, screw it, I'll, I'll, I'll get another piece of paper. I'm just trying to, it's hard to keep everything in order, so. So, f of x, y, remember, was equal to this right here, it was equal to plus h of y, h of y turned out to be negative y cubed. Okay, so our, our final answer takes a, just one more little twist. Right there, that's how we do it, okay? That is how it's done, and I, don't really, I really don't have too much else to say, um, but hopefully, as normal, hopefully I didn't confuse anyone. And, you know, um, yeah, I'm kind of out of words, really. So, there you go. Next video, maybe we'll do some more. So, of course we'll do some more.